Welcome to Flam. Today we will not take you for a bus adventure, but we will take you on one of the world's most beautiful train rides on earth. This is Flomsbahn. Today I'm located on the western part of Norway in Flom and behind me there is a bus park and here is buses from all over Europe and they are coming here to see the fjords and take this beautiful famous train journey called Flomsbana and today we will do the same so now let's jump on the train and take one of the most beautiful train journeys on earth. We are entering one of the old B3 cars that have been trafficking Flomsbana for several years. The B3 cars was built in Norway from 1962 to 1973. The interior is red with the old type of seats, restored to have an old feeling of the train ride. I really miss the old trains in Norway with this kind of seating, the rounded and the tall roof. The train starts moving and we are at the moment 2 meters above sea level at Flom station. The train is driven by a Norwegian-built train model called L18. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful locomotive in use in Norway. On our way to Myrdal, we will climb 867 meters in the Norwegian mountains. We will pass 11 different stations and 20 tunnels on the 20 kilometers of distance we are about to travel. About 1 million passengers are traveling with Flomspana every year. When that said, I think it's really bad of the company not letting me go for free. Today I'm a bus driver, providing the train with more than 30 guests. Still I had to pay full price, even though our group had one car all by themselves. Norway has a lot to learn when it comes to the hospitality of drivers and guides. Flomsbana is a sidetrack from Bergensbanen that connects Oslo with Bergen. The short sidetrack shows some of the most beautiful nature Norway has to offer. We will pass many beautiful waterfalls, steep mountains and tunnels made by hand during the construction of the tracks in the early 1940s. The first part of the journey goes in a beautiful valley from Flom next to the Flom River. We're already passing some of the beautiful waterfalls and here people are living all year around. The train has already made its first stop at London station just after 1.6 kilometers from Flom station. We're starting to climb higher and higher. The valley gets more narrow and the mountain sides are getting even more spectacular. The road is still following us, but in a short while the train is the only transportation that can climb up the steep mountains. To our right hand side we can see Ruandafossen, one of the big and spectacular waterfalls with a free fall on 241 meters. The next bit we will drive through a lot of tunnels. The complete track consists of 28% of tunnels, in total 20 tunnels. With inspiration from the train system in Switzerland, the railway from Myrdal to Flom was built from 1928 to 1947. 
And this is the second steepest normal tracked railroad in the world. Here at Bärekvam station we'll have a short stop for a passing train. The train goes from Myrdal towards Flom and it's meeting us here on the only double track that is along Flomsbana. As you can see the train has a locomotive both in the front and one in the back. We are passing Blumheller station and we are already now 450 meters above sea level. We are now just about halfway to our final destination at Myrdal. From now on the tunnels will be even more important along the route. It's time for the highlight of the trip. We have reached Schussfossen station, 670 meters above sea level. Schussfossen is the most visited waterfall in Norway. Massive amount of water is constantly flowing down the about 750 meters long waterfall. Here the train stops for several minutes. All passengers can exit the train to take a closer look and to feel the power from the mighty waterfall. If you're extra lucky, you might even see the dancing huldra in the mountainside. The mighty waterfall is also the waterfall that gave electrical power to Flomsbaden for the first time back in 1944. The Schussfossen power station provided electricity to the L9 train that first served the steep railroad track between Myrdal and Flom. Continuing from Schussfossen, we'll drive through the tunnel Vattnehalsen, and that's a spiral tunnel. And to prevent to build a too steep track, the engineers were forced to build a spiral tunnel with a lot of turns to even out the climb. The tunnel is in total 888 meters long, and it's even a window here in the tunnel. The wall was so thin so they decided to make a window so people could look out at the beautiful views. We're almost reaching the top and our final destination, Myrdal. Here we can see the old construction road that's still a popular hiking path. We have arrived to Myrdal, it's a very scenic and beautiful trip as you saw. Here at Myrdal we are connecting with a train that goes from Oslo to Bergen. Here you can travel from the east to the west and make a great connection point if you're traveling to one of the biggest cities of Norway. Thank you so much for watching the video here today and if you like what you see please click down here the button is called subscribe and then you will see all the future videos here on Bus Magazine. Until next time drive safely and have a great day.